Before we dive into this week's content, I want to say thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes. I had my birthday on January 2nd, and while you were celebrating me, I was tucked away in a luxury hotel room to gift myself a writing retreat for my birthday that will ensure that I can publish my next book in just a few months. I'm able to invest in a luxury suite and take time away from my business to write because I've mastered the art of high ticket sales and selling out my premium offers, which affords me the financial resources to fund my sacred work. My friends and colleagues nicknamed me the high ticket queen for good reason. And that is why six figure women come to me so that they can master this art all the way up to seven figures and beyond. So they're already making good money, somewhere between $10,000 and $20,000 a month, but they want to make amazing money, upwards of $100,000 a month. They're tired of being on a content creation gerbil wheel that attracts window shoppers at best and blocks six-figure months from coming in from their dream clients. And by the way, if you are writing content every day, it should be pulling in premium clients every day. And if not, let's change that. They feel a strong pull to support high level leaders and receive premium rates for doing so, but they simply don't know how to speak to them or design offers for 20K, 50K or 100K and beyond that their dream clients easily leap into. They're bored because they keep settling for non-ideal clients and settling has stalled out their income. They're ready to experience the paid in full whoosh of a major, major cash infusion that their five and six figure offers can bring them. Hey, if that sounds like you, then I want you to reach out to me. You can just email me at robin at, rob, at drrobinmckay.com to learn how we can work together to create a 50K cash infusion for you before the end of January. I know it sounds audacious. And you've got to have a lot of moxie to do it, but it is possible. It really doesn't take that long to tweak your offers and infuse your copy, copy to call in your dream clients. So there are a couple of ways that we can work together. One is in a half day intensive. And then on the backside of that, you get 30 days of boxer access and unlimited copy review. So I stay with you until you've closed 50K on sales, provided, of course, you follow my guidance and go all in with your program. So that's truly a risk-free investment. Or... If you want to go at a little bit slower pace, you can do six weekly one-on-one -on -one sessions plus Monday through Friday Voxer access and unlimited copy re review. Again, I stay with you until you close your next 50K as long as you're truly coachable and follow my guidance and go all in with your program. So listen, I love teaching the art of high-end premium sales. And I really want to invite you into this. So if that's you, if this landed for you, I'll look forward to hearing from you in email, robin at drrobinmckay.com. And now let's get on with our next episode. Welcome back to the podcast. You will notice if you're watching the video, I have a different color hair than I ever have before. I've got red hair. It came in on December 30th. 2023. Well, it actually, I dreamed the future version of myself. And in that dream, I had full on red hair. And I was like, I woke up from that dream. I was like, oof, I have to call my hairstylist immediately. And I did. And she said, no, when I told her I wanted red hair. And I said, well, I must. And then she figured out a way to do it. And so here we are with red hair. And somebody asked me, Recently, I wonder what that is going to help you embody, because that's a really great question. There is a saying, I think Coco Chanel is attributed the saying, that when, when a woman changes her hair, she changes her life. And I think that's what's happening, actually. Of course, the embodiment, I would say, is my full-on channel, Marisol, I think is a big piece of this puzzle. And it will be very interesting to see how life plays out this year as we continue on this path toward the new earth and to ascension and also to just doing business in a brand new way, um, which is what Becoming the Channel is going to be focusing on this year, especially for spiritual entrepreneurs, for light workers and light leaders, and anyone who's doing energy work in this world. I'm calling it conscious technology at this point. It's consciousness and it's technology that is game changing. And, um, you know, I have my McKay actualization method that is a form of conscious technology. And there are other people um, on the planet, obviously, who use energy and consciousness to create transformation and to 
uh, speed up the ascension process. And so if that's you, then this is for you. And as you know, well, you may not know, I may not have announced this on the podcast yet. I've been talking a lot about it in social. Marisol, my channel is here for the channels. And what she means by that, I think, and I know she'll have something a little bit different to say than I do, but being here for the channels means really focusing on creating conscious businesses for channels, doing business as a channel. This is the topic of consideration, and this is the way forward um, since we are on the Ascension path. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. I have a couple of notes that we made last night that I want to share with you. So let's go ahead and dive into the business of channeling. And it is high time we bring our attention back to this most important topic, the business of channeling. And Marisol is here to make it easy for light leaders to make millions of dollars using their spiritual gifts. So when we speak specifically about channeling, we also mean using intuitive me means of bringing about transformation. These mechanisms can also include things which I mentioned before, the conscious technologies, but it truly is all channel channeling. So the conscious technologies, you can think about Reiki as a conscious technology. My friend Elise has um, her metamorphosis method that has a whole lot of energy work associated with it. There are the Akashic records. My friend Christina Rice has her Ahai 7D healing modality. Um, and there are many, many others, of course, that have come through, especially lately. But it's, to me, it's largely channeling. You're channeling energy, you're channeling consciousness, you're channeling high frequencies. And that is the point. So the business of channeling has largely been kept secret. And if you think about the people who are well-known on the global stage as channels, we'll say like Abraham Hicks um, is the only one who comes to my mind at this moment, but there, there are others. If you can think of the people who are widely known as channels, they've been very um, covert, I'll say, about the business of channeling. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is, and that's okay, and I don't have to know why, and I don't really have any judgment about it. I just know that part of my work is to make it transparent for you and make it as easy as possible for you to make 20K, 50K, 100K a month using your spiritual gifts, because that is where we are headed. That is where we are headed. And so the idea here today is that transparency is very important when it comes to the business of channeling and then providing activations, codes, and practical advising for doing business in this new earth paradigm where the channels are recognized and revered for their wisdom, for their beingness. And I keep wanting to repeat, and that is where we are headed. So today on the podcast, we're going to share the foundations of business of channeling. And we'll do so in a way that'll help you understand why you're not already making 50K months as a channel. You see, of course, I need to mention this. I'm the mentor spiritual entrepreneurs and light workers come to when they're ready to fully integrate their spiritual gifts with their professional credentials and their training while adding at least 50K a month to their businesses. I have said for a while now that your highest calling exists at the intersection of your professional credentials and your spiritual gifts. If you have a spiritual gift as a channel, and if you do have high level credentials in any field, those are both of value to you as you step into your highest calling. In fact, they are both essential in your highest calling. So we speak of this issue because I've already had the experience many times over in my business of generating anywhere between 50K and 100K in sales in a single month. And I've always been a channel. I've not always been as straightforward as I am now about being a channel, but I've always been a channel. So from the time I started my business, I began selling high ticket. And I really believe from the beginning, I've been coded for selling high ticket and developing and designing premium programs and then getting them sold in a very quick way to really ideal clients. So here's what I want to do because I can transmit the know-how on a human level of how to sell high ticket as a channel, as a light worker, as a light leader. 
but also the energetics of the high ticket sales that make it possible for you to receive five figure cash days and six figure months and so on. That's not a problem. But I want to start actually with the problem. You probably you probably know that I largely work in the field of infinite possibilities, but I have learned that it is important to speak to the problem because that's where a lot of we spend a lot of our time is in the problem, solving problems and figuring out solutions to the problems. In the field of infinite possibilities, of course, there are no problems, but it does us well. Talking about the problems is actually the bridge to removing the problem and to really stepping into the field of infinite possibilities. So where I want to start with us today is why you're not already commanding 50K months in your light worker or light leader practice, right? So are you ready? So I'm going to list out some of these, and then I know Marisol will dive in here and talk about some of them in particular. So there are many reasons. A lot of the reasons that you're not already making 50K in your business every month is because you're judging yourself for not being able to figure out your client attraction issues. That's costing at least $50,000 a month in revenue. Just judging yourself. Do you see that? After you understand the basics of business, and after you are making, you know, anywhere between 20, 10 and 20 K a month, you've kind of, you've mastered, you've mastered calling people into your business. You've mastered conversations around sales and things like that. But at some point, and it happens pretty regularly. And I would say to every spiritual entrepreneur, there comes a point where your old client attraction method just stops working for no good reason or no apparent reason anyway. And so then what ends up happening, and I know this from my own personal experience, is that you judge yourself because you can't figure out why. Why are the clients not coming? Where are they? And I remember I was probably six months into my business. I had already made, I think I was on my way to making my first 100K. I made my first 100K in six months after I left my, my salaried position. And I remember I was staying in France with a friend. He was an economist in one of the French universities. And I was crying one day because really client attraction had dried up and I was crying. I was like, what's going to happen and where are the clients and so on. And he looked at me and he said in his, he spoke about middle school English. And I spoke maybe like, I think the two-year-old spoke better French than I did. Nonetheless, we conducted our entire relationship in middle school English. We'll just suffice to say. But anyway, he said in his middle school English, Robin, we do not understand. It is just a cycle of business. When things get slow, he said, we just have to keep going. So I kept going and I figured th some things out and got some things sorted. And away I went with my 100K six months. And so one of the things that happens when your client stream starts to dry up as you make yourself wrong. You judge yourself. You feel ashamed of yourself. You're so smart. You're so accomplished. You're so good at what you do. You're, oh, and here's an even better piece of that. If you have a background of selling high ticket or of having 20K months, and then suddenly you have zero coming in for a month, then you make yourself wrong and say, I cannot possibly, I cannot possibly continue to sell what I'm selling because my clients have dried up. And so we make ourselves wrong. And that wrongness, the judgment that we have of ourselves is actually something that has to be, I'll say, released or neutralized from your field in order for you to step back into the stream of client attraction. So that is one thing. Another thing that can stand between you and 50K months is that you're still taking on non ideal clients who you know need your services. Need is such a, an important word in our culture, especially among healers, um, clinicians, people who have worked in healthcare. We always talk about needs. Well, they need to come and see the doctor. They need therapy, right? It's all based on a very low level. Well, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it's a need. So when we're working with people who need us, there can be a kind of clingy energy. There can be some kind of like, um, I have to parent you kind of energy. And we take these non-ideal clients on because the money's good. You can make a lot of money working with people who need you. 
but there's a cost to that. And the cost to that, besides me being a little bit of a, you know, tongue in cheek here, besides the, the 50K a month, the cost to you is burnout. The cost to you is being overwhelmed with other people's needs so that you cannot possibly take care of your own needs because you're prioritizing everyone else's needs over yours. That is the classic profile of somebody who is too well adjusted for their own good. Which is, by the way, another reason why you don't have 50K coming into your bank account every single month from your premium sales. And by the way, I don't have any judgment about any of these things. I just, these are things that I have noticed in the 10 years that I've been in business. Some of them I have overcome myself. Some of them I have helped my clients overcome. But the thing is that when we, when we take a moment and look at these things, it is probably not a copywriting problem. In other words, if you're making between 10 and 20 K a month, you're probably a pretty decent copywriter. If, and it's probably not like even a program structure issue. It's probably not even a pricing issue, although it could be, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But when we don't take a moment to look at these deeper seated issues and not just a moment guys, like really like take these to heart um, when we're only skimming the surface of the business and saying, what's wrong with this? Why is this not working? And I take a hammer to the business and try to figure it out that way. We're missing out on a huge area of ascension for us personally. And we're also missing the boat in terms of what actually is coming up for neutralization in your field. So here are a couple of others I want you to think about and just feel into if either of these land for you. One is that your premium programs haven't sold out because you're holding a deep shame or trauma about something in your past. And I see this, oh my God, so much. And I've experienced it actually myself as well. So I'll give you this for instance. A woman came to me, she was a consultant by training. She was probably making, I'll say 200,000, maybe 250 a year as a consultant. She was exceptional at her game. And in fact, I remember looking at her LinkedIn profile when she found me online and I was like, I was still in a place where I was a little bit um, surprised when people with those kinds of credentials and that that kind of background would come and find me. So I was, I was very impressed with her to say the least. But it turned out she really wanted a next level position. She wanted to be consulting for the big guys. She wanted to be making at least twice as much money as she was currently. And she had a lot of reasons for that. As we explored early in our, in our work together, it turned out that she had, um, she had been involved in a legal issue several years before and lost the legal issue. And it was pretty highly publicized actually. So there was just a lot, there was a lot of shame involved with that. The fact that she had even had to be involved in a legal issue in the first place. And then secondly, that she had come out on the losing side of it was enough that of course she's a, she's a go-getter and of course she's an overcomer. So what ended up, what ended up happening during her work with me is that we had to go back into the energetics of it and look at the, where the, I call them trauma knots in the McKay actualization method, but where the trauma knots, knots existed in her field. And basically we had to neutralize the trauma and then restore her consciousness to its rightful place in her heart so that she could go out and, and connect with the people who she was meant to connect with. And so that she could go out and be headhunted and so that she could go out and, and tell people with pride that she was here to do this job. And in a very short period of time, I want to think for her, it probably took about nine months. It may have been a little bit less time than that. She landed what I can only call, do you remember um, the Price is Right in the showcase showdown? Well, when you bid on the showcase, if you come within, you know, if you get closest, you win your showcase. If you get within $100, you win both showcases. And that was the feeling I had for her when she told me what her, what her um, experience was and what her win was with her own business. Um, she landed, her contracts were around $600,000 a year. She had amazing 
bonuses and things like that, that were beyond what she could have hoped for or imagined. And all of that really began with the neutralization of the trauma that she had experienced about uh, a legal issue that had been sorted for years on the technical plane, but on the energetic plane, it just sat like a gray wet blanket over her heart and dampened her spirit to the point where she really felt worried that if somebody felt found out about it, um, even though it was public knowledge, obviously, but if anybody ever brought that up or forward that she was somehow not capable or not qualified or not appropriate for the job. And that simply was not true. So that would be an example of how a deep seated shame can play out in the frequencies that come across in your marketing, that come across in your sales conversations. If you're holding on to any of that, especially in the new earth paradigm. In the 3D, you can get away with that a little bit more because people are less, um, they're more calloused to the, uh, the uh, I'll say the superficial. They, they read into the superficial and that's about it. And you can kind of hide the nuanced in the 3D. But on this ascension path, as we are moving into the new earth paradigm, it becomes, oh, ever so more important and essential to really refine your field and really refine your system so that you are crystal clear. And when you are crystal clear, when there is no shame for um, to grab onto your consciousness, when there is no trauma to take you away from your purpose, that is when the money starts flowing. And it is really quite remarkable how quickly that happens and how effortless it is. You see, when, especially in the work that I do, when I work with people the trauma comes forward. I suppose it was probably because of my background in psychology that this just kind of opens the door. And I am trauma informed, obviously, but the trauma does come forward. And the, the alignment phase of the work that happens is meant to make the channel clear again so that the wealth consciousness can just flow so that there's no obstructions. There's no constriction around the wealth consciousness. Because your clients are becoming more refined as well. And your prospective clients are becoming especially more refined in making decisions about who they're going to work with and why they're going to work with them. They really want people who are crystal clear. So when you feel like your client attraction has dried up, it probably is time to look at what's the trauma? What's the shame? And I have to tell you something that I think you'll find interesting, maybe funny. I kind of chuckle about it, <clears throat> but I remember being in grad school and I had done so much work already on myself. I had done therapy. I was in the middle of my, my spiritual development, the whole thing. And I remember sitting with my clinical supervisor one day and something came up, something, some trauma situation came up and I burst into tears and I thought, I thought I was done. I thought I was done processing trauma. And he said, well, there's always another layer of the onion. And I share this with you not to go looking for the other layer of the onion, because at some point you transcend the onion. But I will say that when people come in and work with me, there is a better than, better than average chance, I'll say, that something around trauma will come up. And that's not said from a place of judgment. It's more like said from a place of, of course, of course, you're going to transcend trauma. If you're going to work with somebody like me, of course, you know, Marisol is Soleil. She is the illuminator. So when you sit with an illuminator, you can guarantee that the, um, the places in you that require illumination will have that happen. And then once that happens, once they are illuminated and your consciousness is restored, that is when the flow opens again. Isn't that wonderful to know? In other words, I share this with you because I don't think it has to take a long time. It just has to take illumination to be able to see where are those places in your consciousness, in your field that require refinement and restoration. And then just to do that, just do that and then see what happens in business. But as long as we are holding on to consciously or unconsciously old trauma, old shame, old anger, resentment, Anything that has not been examined, acknowledged, is going to be a barrier 
to the wealth consciousness and to the literal wealth flowing into your business. So, oh, here's a good one. And I think this is the last one we will talk about because I do want to talk about like how we, we overcome this and how we step into the field of possibilities. Another reason that your 50K months keep eluding you is because you're running on adrenaline and dopamine. And this is costing you literally millions of dollars. The story I will share is this one. When I began my business, I walked away from my salaried position as a university psychologist, which is basically corporate. And of course, I had a long history in corporate as well in biotech before that. But when I walked away, I was single. I had a little bit in savings, but not a lot. I had mastered high ticket sales. So I was already able to bring in $10,000, $15,000 a month um, when I would focus. And so I trusted that. I trusted that I could sell high ticket. And then I left. My last day, I walked out the door from the university with my box full of memorabilia or whatever. I got in my Volkswagen Beetle convertible. I went home. I opened up my laptop and I began my business in earnest. And it didn't take me long to have a complete panic attack and meltdown to the point where I was with my sister at the time. And she said to me, as I was literally inconsolable, she said, were you asked to leave the university? Insulted, I said, no, why would you ask such a thing? And she said, well, you're crying like you were asked to leave, like you didn't have a choice. And it was then I realized that I was having a major trauma response, one that I hadn't expected one or anticipated. And I didn't expect or anticipate what that would do to business because I ended up having to do a lot of trauma processing. I had to do a lot of um, grounding my nervous system. And the net net of this is what I will talk about with dopamine in particular and adrenaline is that when you are, when your major source of fuel is either dopamine or and or adrenaline, uh, it's going to create burnout in the body. So my initial reaction to leaving my job and starting my business was a panic attack. And I think that this is the way that we would take a look at the effect of, of dopamine, which is the highly charged, engaging hormone it's the hormone that runs on the addiction pathways in the brain, actually. And so when you are constantly running on, a, on dopamine and adrenaline, the body is going to burn out at some point, is my point. Now, the first time you have a high-end sale or a high-ticket sale, you can bet it's going to feel really good in your system. It's going to also feel very foreign in your system. And part of your system is going to want more of that. I want more. I want another dopamine hit. And that will be the driving force between the next sale and the next sale and so on. But at some point, you get bored because you habituate to the amount of dopamine in your system based on the sale that you're receiving. And so then you have to raise your rates or you have to change things up or you have to cause drama in your life in order to generate another hit of dopamine. I know that's a very... Um, broad and brush big brush strokes in terms of understanding the the dopamine pathway but my point here is that we want to in order to bring in your your 50k months because your system knows that you cannot sustain 50k months on dopamine and adrenaline you you just cannot and so we have to get you off the dopamine adrenaline pathway and give you something else some other fuel for your system Yes, and you can feel yourself breathing a little bit there. So one of the reasons that you haven't hit 50K a month yet in your business is simply because you have not figured out what pathway to run on that isn't infused with dopamine and adrenaline. And that is the kind of work that we do. Of course, there are things that you can do in your marketing copy 
in your program design and in your pricing. Those are very practical things that we do have to take a look at and we owe it to your business and to you and to your sacred or highest calling. But ultimately what I have found in the last 10 years that I've been doing this work is that much of the work, after you have proven, yes, I can hit 10K months, after you have proven even I can hit 15 or 20K months, after that, most of it, I'm gonna say 80% of it is energetic. And that is why, that is why women like you come in and work with me because I understand the energetics of it. And I am coded for high ticket premium sales. So I know how to do it. I know it by heart. I've been doing it for years. And um, there's also one other thing that I will bring forward. Another reason that you're not having these 50K months and above is because uh, there's a lack of worthiness. I am not worthy. And I know that sounds, that's very, it's very stealthy actually, because I know you've probably done your worthiness work, but worthiness is very, very stealthy in the culture. And so when there's any, when there's any um, consternation about whether or not I'm worthy and deserving actually of 50K months, that's going to be a rate limiter as well. So you can see a lot of this work that I do, yes, it's energetic. It's also psychological. It is also psychological. It cannot help be, being anything but psychological. And so that is why when I say Marisol is here for the channels and for the business of channeling, you will know it to be true that the new way, the new paradigm of business is largely energetic. There are still some, oh, what is the word that I'm looking for? There are still some parts, some physical things that you can do, some mechanics, if you will, but largely we're looking at consciousness and we're looking at shifting your consciousness and actualizing your highest level because that's where your highest calling is and that's where the clients are going to meet you and the things that limit you from standing in your highest calling are the things that I mentioned to you, but they're also the things that are limiting your income and revenue in your business every month. So that's what I'm sharing with you today. I think at the beginning of our time together, I mentioned that there are a couple of ways that people can work with me and I'm always happy to have a conversation with you. So if you'd like to set something up to have a conversation about how we can work together, I'm happy to do that. Just email me, as I said, at robin at drrobinmckay.com and let me know that you would like to set something up. It does not have to take an extraordinary amount of time to create 50K in a month. You can do that. You can actually do it in one sale. No problem, right? You can make 100K in 30 days. No problem. So it does not have to take long. But what it does really take is um, a frequency fix. There's some content that needs to be shifted because maybe you're not, we'll say, speaking the language that your premium clients speak, and maybe you just don't know how to speak that language. So there's some tweaking there. And there's also just a way that you hold yourself. There's a way that you hold yourself in high esteem and high regard, knowing that people come to you, not because they need you, but because they want your perspective. They desire to be in your space and your frequency and to receive the codes that only you have for them. People know that very well. And as we continue on the Ascension pathway, that will become even more clear that people are going to be buying from those of us who are clear channels. So in my mind, it does you well to make sure that you are as clear as possible and that you are as poised as possible in order to receive the people who are meant to work with you. So that is where I will end for today. I'm so grateful for you. And I will see you next time.